Good morning, this is Aunt Beth. Welcome to my lamp post, the light that I'm currently living in. Um, I know I had said earlier that I would talk to you next week, but after I signed off yesterday, I'm talking about life in the matrix. I, the inside of me, my spirit just got rolling as far as navigating the matrix, so I couldn't wait a week to talk to you, had all these notes. So, um, if you want, you could subscribe and push the notification button and that will help you uh, know that I posted something. But enough of that. So I want to talk to you about navigating in the matrix. And um, let's just do a brief recap of the movie and what we've talked about so far. So in the movie, um, The Matrix, there are a lot of people that, well, everyone is deceived and they're plugged in to the system and literally their life juices are being used to fuel the system. And if you start realizing that something's off, um, you are literally flushed out of the system. You're literally canceled is what I guess the words that we would use today. There are some truth tellers that will get to you occasionally and they will give you a choice of um, you can be fully alert and awake to the deception of the system that's draining all your life juices, feeding you just enough to keep you alive. Um, and you can take the red pill, which is where we get the um, expression of being red pilled to truth, and wake up, come out of the system and fight the system or you can take the blue pill and go back to sleep and live your life in total deception. I wanna talk about the parallels today in navigating the matrix once you've been red-pilled, once you are awake to the deception that's going on around us. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, obviously every analogy has its breakdowns but this is a pretty good one you know as far as the the matrix and surviving in the dream world the artificial world that everyone's plugged into is called the construct and the people that have been red pilled when they go back in uh, and function in the matrix they're connected um, with a physical connection that taps in to their brain. So I wanna to talk to you about the fact that you're a three-part person. You have a spirit, or you are a spirit. You have a mind, and you live in a body. And the body is your contact with the material physical world and the matrix it's the construct <clears throat> your mind that you have is your interface between your spirit which is eternal and truth connected to truth and the material okay so if you're navigating in the matrix today all right you absolutely have to be connected. Your spirit, all right, and your, and your brain have absolutely got to be plugged in to the truth of the eternal if you're going to survive, okay? You've got to. So, um... The second thing on navigating this is to be aware, like in the movie, people's emotions fueled the deception. 
And that's true of us in our world, okay? You're, there's two sets of emotions, if you want to call it that. One is hate, anger, rage, and all of these are communicated by words. Remember we talked about in part one that words can spiritual essences okay and when they're spoken they transfer spiritual essence into the natural and this is why it's so important to read the Word of God out loud okay <clears throat> it's interesting to me that in the matrix they wear sunglasses and I think that in our world if somebody's got sunglasses on, it helps them keep an emotional distance, a perspective on what's going on. So I think we need to always remember that we're eternal beings, okay? And keep a, keep a little bit of an objective here, an emotional perspective on what's going on. Um, so when you're navigating in the matrix or in our lives today, and I'm speaking to active believers, Christians, when you're flowing with God, it just feels right. I mean, there may be a lot of burdens or hurdles that you have to overcome, but you have this confidence on the inside of you that everything's right. If you are just doing this out of your own strength, out of your own anger, out of your own frustration, you're in the construct. You're not flowing with God. You're not plugged in. And so I would encourage you for your to protect your heart and protect your mind that you step back for a minute and walk in peace. Um, because you can either be love-powered, and love is not ushy-gushy. Love is patient, kind, long-suffering, willing to believe the best in people. Okay, those are all decisions. That's not emotion. All right. Or you can be fueled by rage, anger. So... You know, what juice are you contributing to the system? Okay, words can create, words can destroy. Um, your own life, other people's lives. So I would, I would really keep an eye on that and, and stay plugged in to the Lord. Um, I was, uh, teasing you a little bit, but it's really true. The Bible does talk about four dimensions. I know Einstein considered the fourth dimension time, but the Bible talks about four dimensions. Okay, and we currently live in three. So trying to describe a, a fourth dimension to a third dimension person is kind of like trying to describe um, a line, you know, a person who's a line, a two-dimensional person to a three-dimensional person. Okay, so, but here we go. Length, height, depth, breadth. It's four. I personally believe depth means touching the eternal. Okay, but, um, so length, height, depth, breadth. Uh, so I want to just ask you, who are you flowing with? You're flowing with God. How is your gut doing? I mean, your heart, your spirit. How are you doing? Are you tapped in? So I guess that's it that I wanted to talk to you about um, today. The last part of it um, is how do we win? 
So um, it could be next week. It could be tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I wanted to just share my thoughts with you. I hope you have a fabulous day. All God's best.